Children, in the previous episode, we discussed about stomata, lenticels and respiration in plants. Now we continue the same topic further. The respiratory substrates, the substrates are on which oxygen will act, break and produce energy. These substrates are carbohydrates. It can be also proteins, fats, organic acids in case of plants. Production of energy basically takes place in the cells and it is converted to chemical energy ATP which is also known as energy currency of the cell. You are aware of the fact that we require energy between the meals also. Suppose you have taken breakfast at 8 o'clock, now you may take lunch at 1 o'clock. Between 8 and 1 the energy which you are having is coming out from your ATP. Similarly, after lunch till dinner or till evening tea. So, between the meals, the energy comes from stored chemical energy, we call it ATP. As we discussed in previous episode also, respiration in plants is taking place through stomata and lenticels. I am sure you have seen stomata in the leaves in your practical classes in your school. Each part of plant is doing gas exchange. I want to emphasize on this students that in our body for respiration we have a system called respiratory system. We have nose, we have trachea, we have lungs, alveoli, the blood supply, exchange of gases etc. In plant we do not have a system like this. So, whole plant body is doing respiration and that is why the total need of respiration is divided and is taken care of by every cell, every cell of leaf, every cell covering the twig, every cell covering the stem. So, every cell is taking part in respiration and taking care of respiration. Hence, that oxygen which enters into each and every cell takes care of the functional aspect of oxygen and burning and respiration in that particular cell and that is how the process goes on in respiration. When photosynthesis takes place, the oxygen is immediately released and part of it is immediately utilized in respiration during daytime. During night time, it will take from surrounding bit by bit by every cell. So, each plant, the living cell in each plant is close to the surface. I am sure children you have understood this fact and appreciated this fact that in case of plant each living cell is in directly in contact with the air or atmosphere hence taking in oxygen becomes easier. So, that is one advantage which plant has and that is how it is able to survive in the absence of sun during night. In this slide you can see stomata which are having guard cells and these guard cells will help in opening and closing of stomata which will help in gas exchange through these stomata and same thing is happening in case of lenticels also and that is how the respiration is aided. Coming to the combustion of glucose, the main reaction which is taking place in the process of respiration is breaking down of carbohydrates. You can see the equation C6H12O6 that is carbohydrate, it will burn in the presence of 6O2 giving rise to 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. Now, this carbohydrate was burning in the presence of oxygen and that was respiration and the end result was production of carbon dioxide, production of water and production of energy. We are doing all this for the production of energy. Carbon dioxide and water both are end products or side products. 
Now this carbon dioxide, of course we do not require, but plants require for photosynthesis, of course during daytime only. So, respiratory process is finally taking place using carbohydrate as substrate, oxygen as splitting agent and end result expected is energy production of course in the form of ATP, a chemical energy so that we can store it for some time. Now all this is process only is possible because of respiratory process taking place in the plants. The energy which is released is coupled to ATP. Children try to understand this point. We have some ATP in the body all the time. Now whatever ATP is produced more is coupled to this. So in the plant body also we have ATP and more ATP is coupled to it to give energy round the clock or whenever plant requires. Now respiratory process becomes important for the production of energy mainly and for the utilization of food. If respiratory process was not there then food is synthesized and it remains in the plant body for all the time which is not possible. So breaking down of that food was important and production of energy was also important and both are taking place through the process of respiration. There are anaerobes. So far we are talking about aerobic respiration, oxygen where oxygen is required for respiration. But there are some situations where oxygen is not available. Then also respiration takes place but that is anaerobic respiration we are going to discuss in the later part of this chapter maybe in the next episode. Similarly, the process of fermentation will also take place in a different way. The way we have talked about respiration now is different and the way it will take place in fermentation will be different which also we will discuss little later. Coming to glycolysis or glucose which we had been talking many times in this episode. That glucose breaks down to give energy. Now that process is called glycolysis. The food which is prepared by plant will finally break down to either glucose or fructose because originally it was sucrose. Now whether it is glucose or fructose it will undergo glycolysis. The word glycolysis means glyco glucose and lysis means splitting or lysing. So breaking or splitting of glucose is glycolysis. So this glucose will undergo many steps in glycolysis to give pyruvic acid. During pyruvic acid formation or during glycolysis there will be splitting of sugar and it will take place in the cytoplasm of the cell. ATP will be produced and that is the energy which was yielded during glycolysis and glucose is eventually converted to ATP. Now this glycolysis takes place in many steps and at every step some enzyme is required and finally when pyruvic acid is formed with the formation of pyruvic acid few molecules of ATP are also released and that is what was our purpose of glycolysis. So children you can appreciate that in respiration in the plant, the plant takes oxygen through stomata or through lenticel, it comes inside the cell of the plant, inside the cell there is mitochondria where this oxygen will act on the food which may be uh, carbohydrate, which may be some uh, proteins or fats, whatever food the plant prepared and it will break it into glucose and fructose and they will undergo glycolysis in the mitochondria and for that certain enzymes are needed at every step which is a very complex process and it goes on slowly 
it should go on slowly because we do not want sudden energy neither in plant nor in animal body and in the process some 10 steps take place and the end product is pyruvic acid. Of course, pyruvic acid also has some fate forward which we will discuss later and again with the formation of pyruvic acid the ATP is synthesized. This ATP is stored, it is storable, it is chemical energy and it is released slowly, gradually as per the requirement of the body, the living body and is converted to ADP. The ADP is again enriched to ATP and again that ATP will be converted to ADP after utilization of energy. That means, we need this process to go on continuously in the living body and for that we need oxygen continuously in the living body and that comes through respiration and respiration is important for all living organism and also in plants. The only important point or separate or different point in plant is that plants do not have any respiratory system in particular, especially they do not have any respiratory system and that takes place in every cell. So, plant is much more complex, much more modified, much more advanced compared to any other living body because each cell is capable of running its own life, running its own needs and having oxygen and having its own food and having its own energy. It is not that energy is synthesized at one point and is going to all the other points. And in plants, the food can also move in all the directions. When photosynthesis takes place in leaves, the food goes to all parts of the body and whatever food plant absorbs through roots from the soil, the minerals, the ions that are also going to all parts of the plant. So, plants are much more synthesized and advanced compared to any other organism and respiratory process is also doing many other things in the plant body than the one which we have just now discussed. So, children so far we discussed about the respiration which involves oxygen utilization. Now, I would like you to know something about fermentation. Now, fermentation is incomplete oxidation of glucose under anaerobic condition. Anaerobic condition when either oxygen is not available or oxygen is available less than required, then fermentation takes place. Children, you must have some idea. Suppose you put sugar in water and leave it for some time, maybe one or two days and then smell it. Then you find some alcoholic smell that is fermentation. You can do this experiment in your lab or in your school or at home also. Put little sugar in the water and close the container. Do not open it for 2 days. After 2 days you open it and smell it. You will get some peculiar smell and that is because fermentation has taken place. So, fermentation is an aerobic process and sometimes it is required that it takes place. What happens in fermentation? It starts with pyruvic acid and pyruvic acid in absence of oxygen is converted to lactic acid or it may be converted to ester aldehyde and ester aldehyde will be finally converted to ethanol. Children, you can appreciate the formation of alcohol in this particular slide. Alcohol is made by fermentation of fruits or fruit juices and that is why you were getting a peculiar smell when you had put water and sugar for 2 days in a closed container. Here also I would like you to remember one fact, the formation of lactic acid. Suppose you are running fast for 1 kilometers, 2 kilometers, 3 kilometers and you are getting tired. Now, you will say that I have lot of pain in my legs. What is happening in this? When you are running, you need oxygen, you need ATP, you need energy and that is coming out through respiration in your body. But 
the utilization of energy is much faster than getting oxygen and breaking down glycolysis and production of ATP. So, your cells in the feet which are doing the running are not able to get full ATP or full oxygen from the respiration at that time an aerobic respiration will take place in your leg cells and lactic acid will be produced and this lactic acid is giving you pain in the legs and when you sit for a while 15 minutes 20 minutes 1 hour you feel comfortable because that lactic acid now mobilizes because more oxygen more glycolysis more ATP becomes available. So, fermentation is also very important because it takes place in the absence of oxygen and sometimes when we really require it helps. So, we have discussed the aerobic respiration and also fermentation. With this we come to the end of this episode and we continue discussing respiration in plants in the next episode. Thank you.